I've had high expectations for myself my entire life. Sometimes higher than my level of discipline or ability to follow through on goals that I've set. And yes, while some productivity tricks helped to get me started, I knew I needed something more powerful than Pomodoro's or bullet journaling to keep me working towards my goals. The perpetual cycle of laziness, procrastination, and failure was winning, and I needed a way to beat it. So I went looking for seriously effective methods of accomplishing your goals. Not bullshit cookie cutter productivity advice, real strategies with life-changing results. And what I found was powerful and possibly dangerous. If you have issues following through on goals that you've set, you need something outside of yourself to keep you on track when your lazy ass decides to play Xbox instead of make a YouTube video. That last part may be a bit of self-reflection. Negative incentives are the foundation of dark productivity. In order to accomplish huge, impossible tasks, we need to make it so the pain of failure is greater than the pain of the work required to succeed. There are usually no immediate consequences for slacking off and not achieving your goals or following your dreams. Most people regret this very very late in life, laying on their deathbed wishing they would have tried harder and done more to live a life that they were proud of. We don't feel this pain initially, but the damage is being done and will lead to a life of unrealized potential. With negative incentives, you can make the pain of an action immediate and give yourself a tangible reason not to fail. The most basic yet effective method in the dark productivity playbook is financial punishment. If I told you you had to write a 100-page book in one hour, or you'd lose $20, you probably wouldn't write that book. But if I said you had to write a 100-page book in one hour, or I would take every single dollar in your bank account, at least personally, I would write fast as fuck. This is what websites like Stick and BeMinder are designed to do. Set a goal, make a commitment, and set your punishment for not following through. For bonus points, you can commit to donating the money you would lose to a charity that you disagree with. I would be really hard-pressed to fail on something if I knew it would mean donating to neo-Nazis. And no, this doesn't mean you have to stake your life savings to trick your work ethic into going warp speed. You only need to make the pain of failure worse than the pain of the work required to succeed. I've used this strategy before, and sometimes it only takes a little bit of money on the line for me to really get my ass in gear. Please don't go broke. This video is not financial advice. This method is really effective, but there are other things that can stop your progress. One of the main reasons we fail to achieve our goals, especially audacious ones, is fear. The fear of failure the fear of success, the fear of pain, death, humiliation, judgment, all of these things stop us from doing what we're truly capable of. But there is an antidote to this. Our psyches are very fragile in the face of attacks on the ego. Essentially, you're gonna feel really shitty when people think you're a loser, whether that's true or not, no matter how confident you are. Everyone has an innate drive to feel accepted and accomplished, and this is something we can leverage. You can use this to your advantage and set up situations that make it very hard for fear to stop you from accomplishing your goals. I started learning how to skateboard two years ago, and I've always been terrified of dropping in on a quarter pipe. I stood at the top of that ramp so many times. Again and again, I would get scared, and have to slide down the ramp on my ass in self-defeating embarrassment. Sometimes in life, you need something to force yourself down that ramp. So I invited my girlfriend to the skate park to record me while I dropped in for the first time. Essentially forcing myself to commit or have my fragile male ego destroyed by doing the ass slide of shame in front of the woman I love. And while it still took at least a full five minutes of me standing at the top of that ramp adjusting my skateboard, I overcame my fear and committed. And now I can do something that my clumsy, uncoordinated ass never thought was possible. You can leverage your insecurities to get yourself to do some pretty amazing things. And if you want to get crazy with it, you can go even further. One surefire way to get moving on your goals is not only to stake your money on it, but to stake your reputation. I have wanted to consistently make YouTube videos for years, and I have failed so many times. I recently tweeted this commitment to uploading a YouTube video every single week for the rest of this year. And if I break my promise, not only will I lose about a thousand dollars, my failure will also be very public. This doesn't just put a financial incentive on it. Something about the possibility of other people hoping you fail gives you an underdog complex that can allow you to follow through in even times when you're lacking motivation and willpower. Betting on yourself is cool, but proving wrong the people who are betting against you is way fucking cooler. And by the way, this tweet is still live if you want to join in and make my commitment even more high stakes. All these tools and methods are great and they can seriously help you achieve things you never thought were possible, but none of this matters without the right mindset. Let's say NASA 
reports that a giant asteroid is headed for Earth and will destroy all life on this planet in two weeks. You have 14 days to live. What would you do with this time? What about if the asteroid was gonna hit in one year? What about 10 years from now? Even though we all know it, none of us ever talk about the fact that this asteroid is coming. We all act like we weren't given a death sentence the day we came into this life, and in turn forget to act with the urgency a gift this amazing demands. Time is ticking down to the moment when that proverbial asteroid will hit and erase our consciousness from this planet. While grim, it is a powerful reminder that in this life, you should never allow something to be undone or a dream to be unchaste. Memento mori is a Latin phrase that means, remember, you will die. A reminder of our mortality that's been used since ancient Rome to help us live with urgency and fight this cycle of procrastination and laziness. The finitude of life makes the things you do more valuable and should give you the urgency to live a life you would be proud of. This life is borrowed and we don't get to pick when we have to return it. Before you're gone, push yourself, realize your potential, and do cool shit that you would be proud of.